<laughs> Hello, here we are for the final week of May Major Age. As you can see, I'm very smartly got up. And I'm choosing a crooked wand. And the spells will be revealing, water, blink, mining, and annihilation. Now, this is the week where we finally say goodbye to those personal mage combustions. The big explosions that happen. I'm trying to remember when they're due <laughs> this time, but I'm not sure I'm going to do the greatest job of it. Okay, so what we're collecting, a water bucket, heart of the sea, it's all very blue, isn't it? A water bottle, lapis block, 20 blue concrete, blue wool, warped fungus, a warp door, and a soul lantern. Now those bottom three mean we're obviously going to the nether. Okay, right. Not with telekinesis, but this is the way we get started when we've got mining. <laughs> try, try mining a tree. But I'm sure it'll come into its own later when we try to go and collect ores. Bit of a problem already. I want some stone. Quite often I look for the wood first and then I just look around to see where I can see an exposed stone hillside. But there just wasn't one in sight at them this time. It was it was in a swamp. I had to dig for it. But there we are. Not too long gone and I've got a few little basic tools started. I need to look for food now. Oh look, what's that over there? It's a ruin, and there is a treasure map in it, so I can go later hunting for my heart of the sea. <laughs> I'm practicing a bit of uh, annihilation, and annihilation seems to work even at that distance. Oops. Blink. The perennial problem of blink. Blinking into the side of the rock. But on this occasion, I at least can get out again. Okay, so, if the, the theme as given of this week is spontaneous combustion, then I think my theme, as you will see, is over-collection. <laughs> or is it miscollection? I'm certainly, I've got the wrong idea about the 20 blue concrete, about how much uh, gravel and sand and dye I need to collect for that. Oops, there I go, blinking into the... Ah, there's not much in there for here for me. Yeah. Uh, how much each recipe's worth of gravel. I just didn't think about the fact that it actually makes you eight. Um, concrete. So I'm trying to collect enough sand and enough gravel and enough dye <laughs> to, to make the full amount. In fact, probably... Whoa. There's the first explosion. I wasn't expecting that. I was completely taken by surprise. Um... Yeah, it's, it's so easy to forget the passing of time. I know now that the explosions go off sort of less, no, more, more frequently than every 10 minutes. So it's not like one in the middle of the day, one in the middle of the night. It's kind of, it rolls round a little bit. Look at this, this is over collection, going crazy. How many do I actually need? I think I probably need about 12. <laughs> 12 gravel, but I think I need 80. Keep going! 80! I need 80! 
Or is it 100? I can't remember what I'm trying to get. Uh, as a byproduct, I'm also getting flint, which is good because if I'm going to the nether, I haven't got any spells that will light um, my portal. So having a flint and a steel seems to be a sensible way to do it. I just got told the other day that um, apparently I can, if I find a fire charge in a in a ruined portal chest, then I can use that to uh, to light a portal. That, that honestly had never occurred to me. Now here I go again. So <laughs> I've I've been getting masses too much gravel, masses too much sand. Although I haven't got everything I'm going to get yet. And now I'm getting masses and masses of blue dye. Right, I've decided to go into a hole. <laughs> I don't really know why. And I haven't got enough blocks to be able to, um, to even block off my path properly. So I'm going underground. That's, that's what I'm really trying to do, is just, just find a little safe place to go underground cook up my food. I haven't got any food yet. Look how short of food I am. And I need to go deep underground. I need to get lapis, obviously. I need to get uh, some iron. Um, not much. And I think that's about it from under the ground. I, I need to get on my way again fairly soon afterwards and um, I've got to find I've got to go on that treasure hunt I've forgotten to pick up any wool wool would be necessary and it would have been so easy to have just picked it up I'm sure there were sheep walking around right where I started but anyway let's go deep deep under the ground and amazingly I've not run into any iron or coal <laughs> there's some coal good right now at this point I'm just beginning to think that maybe I I'm due a next explosion so I'm, I'm trying to predict this one or preempt it at this point I'm thinking Right, lay down some water using my water spell. Perhaps let's drown myself. <laughs> okay. I can use the flowing water to throw out throw out some rubbish and it'll at least flow away from me. But this is kind of wasted time. I think I think that's the trouble about Oh, there it there it goes. Huge new cave. It didn't actually hurt me, did it? So it kind of just about worked even though I just stepped out of the water the main flow of the water huh. why did that not work I was trying to get that iron and it got the um, torch instead <laughs> and left the iron exactly where it was what was okay so a bit of cooking up and then I'll go on downwards, I should think. So I've got enough for my flint and steel. I've got the other thing I need is enough for my bucket. So that should be just about right now. There we go. Now, do I carry on down and get lapis at this point? Probably. And what I can do is I have got the ore locator. Um, I've got, um, there we go, revealing and hold mining and look there's there's some, how far away is it, 12, 13 away over there. Now I could have stopped and found all kinds of other things, but I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm so keen on getting that lapis that I've ignored the fact that there's diamonds somewhere nearby. I don't need diamonds, but yeah. See, I'm, I'm grabbing iron, even though I'm not sure I need it. And there is the lapis that I located. So I found that. Woo! And I've opened up lava. 
that seems to be lava at a higher level than you would expect, which is a bit of a pain because I don't want to use mining now and let the lava back in and lose all my lapis. So I'm forced to go non-magical and take down all this lapis by hand with an old pick. See, I've got absolutely masses of overkill of blueness now. <laughs> I've got, got so much lapis and so much blue dye already as well that I've got I've got enough to run about five major ages I think it's crazy now why did I not just kill myself in the lava that's what crosses my mind now I want to get back to the surface I think I'm, I'm just thinking I'm taking stock thinking hmm what to do now I'll cook up the rest, I'll throw away any any garbage. Yeah, look, look, I'm still thinking I need 20, 21, because I need 20 blue dye for the 20 blue concrete, I think. Um, actually, I only need just into three recipes worth of, of um, blue concrete powder. So... Really, I could have done with only having three blue dye for that and one more for the blue wool. But we all learn. We all live and learn, don't we? <laughs> okay, I'm looking. I'm looking for somewhere where I might be able to kill myself. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually thinking. Oh, I don't want to go straight back down those stairs into the lava because. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking. I'm looking for the same lava from a different direction. I don't want to pick up all of my throwouts. And what have I forgotten? What have I forgotten? <laughs> that is due the big explosion. And yet the explosion didn't even release any lava on my head, even when I wanted it to. So I'm thinking, well, if you can't catch a decent death then maybe what you want to do is um, go back up to the surface the old way. <laughs> you know, can I zoom up here? And how did I come into this place? I can't even remember how I got in here. But it's somewhere... There we go. There's... There... there. Hey! I got what I wanted. <laughs> See? So, in trying to get out, I actually fell to my death. Now for another burst of over, <laughs> over collection. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get the rest of the sand that I believe I need. I only need about 12. Is that true? No, it's probably 24. Um, no, it isn't. It's, it is 12. It's three recipes worth of concrete and that you only need four sand and four gravel in each. So it's... Um, Yep, it's 12. <laughs> Look at the amazing overcollection. But, although it, it really irritates me, as you can tell, if I look back over this and say, how much time did you actually waste while doing all the overcollection? It probably comes up to about five minutes. <laughs> so, not, not the biggest difference to my actual finishing time at all. Here's the moment of revelation. Oh, I only need three recipes worth. All the rest of it is wasted. <laughs> now, that's blue concrete powder. How do I make it wet? Well, there's lots of ways of doing it. What I've decided to do is climb up the pillar and cast a water spell on it. Blush. I'm actually in the water with getting... Look, no, I didn't even notice that the water was disappearing already. Who's this guy? Hello. <laughs> Join me. Join me in the water. Hi. Hello. Do you, do you sell me anything that uh, I'm interested in? No, not at all. So there's the, there's the bottles, fill one of them with water, and that is the... Right, 
I've got a bucket of water, I've got four items off of my collection. It's been the slow start, but I'm now... Ah, yeah, right, Heart of the Sea. Uh, I'm obviously quite close to it because you can see the big bite out of the map that I've already taken. And um, I know it's it's this direction, and look, 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 it's it's more or less here. That That feels like I'm on top of it now. Where is it? <laughs> there it is, straight away. Heart of the sea, and look at that. Lots of gold, so I can put some gold armor on while I'm in the nether. Um, and I can throw away some stuff that I don't want in there as well. Um, okay, what next, what next? I think I, I'm probably thinking of making my portal, but I'm also aware that the next explosion is probably due, so I'm, I'm actually preempting that one. Uh, so I seem, seem to be in a sequence of one time, forget all about it, and it, it catches me by surprise. The next time, yes, I'll remember it. And then back to forgetting all about it again the next time. There we go. Right, oh, I've got plenty of fish out of it. <laughs> so, weird. Okay, now for some fun and games. I've seen a lava pool, but... There are so many mobs around it. How can I possibly manage to build a portal or collect the um, the obsidian? Hello, skeleton. Ooh, annihilate skeleton. Right. Let's turn it into obsidian first, and then let's run around again. Run, run, run. <laughs> Just scampering this way and that in figure of eights and right top of a tree. Everyone knows. I love it on the top of a tree. I can catch my breath, throw away all the the chaff. Yeah, all that gravel, all that sand. I'll keep all of the blue dye because um, I need one. <laughs> Look at all the lapis. Right. I probably shouldn't have put on my gold armour yet, because if I'm still in a dangerous situation, as we saw from other people's videos recently... Oh, we got meow meow noises. Excellent. Thank you. Um, yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is try and mine the obsidian from a distance, and then... Since I thought some of that went into the lava, I, I'd whoosh a bit more water over there. Now I'm going to go, once I've mined it enough, I'm going to blink down there. And let's try and gather it all. Look at all those mobs. Ah, craziness. Right, um, run away. But I've got to get back sometime. Oh, there's two ancient mages over here. Yeah, there's my rubbish pile. I don't want that either. I've been I've been hit by a levitation and slowness or something. Ouch. Um yeah, you're in all kinds of trouble, you are. Oh, they got annoyed with each other down there. That was an explosion that was very familiar type of explosion in Minecraft <laughs> where a creeper and a skeleton have a falling out. Right. While I'm up here, the the last thing I need from the overworld, I think, is some wool. Because I need the blue wool, so let's just clobber a sheep. And I think I'm now down to wanting to find a place where I can build my portal <laughs> slightly unmolested. I should have jumped across to that next tree. Because what happens here is I get too much attention up on top of this tree. I hadn't realised it at the time, but look. The mobs can actually climb up. Probably cl climbing up the vines. Uh, look at all this I'm doing. Uh, completely oblivious to the fact that I'm only on three and a half hearts. <laughs> eat, eat. <laughs> you crazy fool. But there we go. Let's just finish that last item I need from the overworld. Let's play games with a creeper while I'm still on three and a half hearts. Now, that cuts out the water, which is essential, of course, for lighting the portal. But um, should allow everyone to start climbing back up to me again. Aha! We're in the right kind of biome. Look, it's a wobbed forest. Ah, I don't know what's going on. I'm panicking. 
I'm eating at last. There's a bit, there's a warped fungus. That's what I needed. And up here I can get some of the wood to make the doors with. And that one was the biggest shock I've ever had. <laughs> I was convinced I was flying back down into the lava at that point. I said some things, I did. Um, now, here's a bit more wasted time. I haven't looked up the recipe for a soul lantern. And for some reason I've got it into my tiny little brain that it needs glowstone. It doesn't. So this is a this is a few seconds at least of completely wasted effort and energy um, trying to collect a bit of glowstone. There we go. <laughs> it's down there. Go and get it. Yeah. You wait. You wait till the moment you check what what a soul lantern recipe is, and you'll realise that you don't need any of that. So you've just wasted about the last thirty seconds. Maybe a bit more. Quite possibly a bit more. Anyway, this is me hopping back up on top of my ex extinguished portal to check recipes. Well, I'll make the doors. That's the penultimate block for the collection. Now, soul lantern. Oh, it only needs a soul torch. Oh, look. <laughs> I... I've got everything I need, except I need a bit of soul sand, and I can be finished. And where can I find soul sand? Look, there's a load of it over there. Down there. As long as that... Ouch! As long as, as, long as I don't die inside netherrack. As long as that aghast leaves me alone while I do it. Look at how much um, durability is left on my gold armour. It's almost blown to pieces. But there... Oh, I've got in infantry chaos going on. <laughs> and finally I'm finished in 45 minutes and 10 seconds. But it could have been a few minutes faster. I, I was annoyed at myself this time. But... It was okay, really. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Bye.